Hi, this is Susan Levin Tarot. Let's look into Sagittarius. I feel like, okay, hold on. What I did with my, um, those Greek cards. Okay. All right, so here we go. I think this reading is, let's see. What did I do with these other cards? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do a Sagittarius reading for... Okay, so it looks like it's for someone who is trying to bring it together with another person. Okay, in a love relationship. Okay. Person trying to bring it together in a love relationship. Sagittarius. Let's see what could be affecting it. That's what I want to look into. Oh, okay. Okay, so everything... <clears throat> Okay, so I've, I get two things. Everything is working out for me. Okay, that's one. Everything is working out for me. Everything has a natural order. Even if it looks like chaos, the energy that streams through that um, physical stuff is um, that pure energy. Okay. So with this card, there may be like a kind of in-between worlds between... The moon and earth energy is what I'm picking up. So I feel like what your partner has in the... Interesting. So for example here, Sagittarius, <clears throat> your partner might have a moon in an earth sign, like moon in Taurus. Okay, moon in Taurus. Or moon in earth sign. Okay, right now we're in Gemini. Okay, so then, um, yeah, so this is definitely <clears throat> in their charts. Okay, so um, there's that, and I feel like somehow that's affecting it. Okay, but there's nothing wrong. It's like just the process of things. Things are unfolding perfectly. Uh, it's just... Sometimes, you know, uh, we want to know everything now, right? Okay, so it's like embracing the journey and just knowing that everything is okay. And that shoring up your energy is going to help things come together. Okay. And it's like, I think these are olive branches, right? Okay, so is uh, so that's the promise of... Uh, Yeah, the promise of abundance. Okay, prosperity. Okay, so then here comes Cronus, the time, right? Or is this a different Cronus? Hold on. Oh, okay, so there's two different ones, but I feel like since I said that, I feel like time is causing some to feel... Uh, not at ease right and we want to reach for ease so with the timing you want to reach for ease first okay and then take timing out of the equation just feel good first so this card is part of this it's like a changing of the cycles okay so uh so sagittarius if you had in your readings uh tower or scorpio uh, the death card, right? Uh, do not be alarmed. This is, uh, I would say, I would like to suggest that was representing the uh, winter time period uh, where things are kind of uh, 
going more inward I felt like was was the energy okay and then from inward to the more outward energy like in January okay so it was something like that it was just changing of the cycle now some of you might have been harnessing some of that uh, Scorpio energy uh, in some some sharp exchanges so if that was you you want to release that okay so here is Pandora hope okay so okay so some of you may feel like you have open open pandora's box in this love department right but uh the key is oh okay <clears throat> all right so let's say there's like a thousand things that came out of that box were that were unwanted or not desired right so if there's everything in that box that was undesirable, then what you do is hold on to hope, move in that hopeful place, and then start recreating the new. So it's like then when you open the box, it'll be a treasure instead of Pandora's box, which is all the unwanted. So spend more time focusing in a hopeful place and creating the new. So what does that mean? Even in the physical reality, if it just looks like chaos, turn your eye and go within and create the new. Uh, from hope to faith to knowing, right? And then seeing. Okay, so believing is seeing here. Okay, so... Um, if you all were going to uh, tarot uh, readings to freak yourself out, uh, here's the here's the hopeful news here. <laughs> okay, everything's okay. All is well, right? Okay, everything is as it should be, right? Okay, so why am I getting? Um... Okay, so I'm getting. Um... That's that one singer. I'm getting the singer. Um, why <laughs> and she sings about the sun. Okay. So. Oh, sun transit. Okay. So, all right. So, the sun is transiting. Okay. So, that may also... Um, have, have a kind of... Uh, Felt a change in energy, perhaps. Okay. The sun transit. Okay. All right. So, here we go. Artemis, purity. Okay. Artemis, purity. Right. So, you want to move in that clear mind, right? Positive, clear mind. Right. And I feel like that will be your success, right? Right. Moving in that pure energy, okay. So, so that's not you can you don't have to reach for positive or negative. Just move in that pure energy, okay. So there's that, okay. Now, um, if you want faster movement, I would go from neutral to positive on all subjects. All right. Achilles, glory. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, I'm getting two words, stand still or stand off. Okay, so, um, and I feel like that was, uh, so to kind of calm down and give yourself a time out. Okay. Time to regroup and recalibrate your energy. Okay, what's this? Rebirth. Okay, that's what I was talking about with the cycle. Uh, uh, it's just a, a cycle that's changing. It's like from winter to spring to summer. It's just a cycle. Okay, so if things seem shadowy, it's just part of this cycle. It's not anything that's uh, to be uh, throw you off your game here. We want to be on the game. Okay. All right. 
Okay, so for some reason they're giving me this story, and I don't know if this is for a male or a female. Okay, so there's a story somewhere in the past. Now, it could be a myth, right? Or it could have been the truth, right? Someone's truth at one point. Now, there was this man man horse man horse okay so there's this man horse right and he was boasting to uh boasting about his hunting skills or something like that so he was like it was like blown up ego right okay so he was boasting about his hunting skills and uh, then Gaia came in and uh, did something. I, I can't remember what, but uh, so hold on. Okay. All right, so that may be a call for humbleness, right? In your love relationship. If one, if there's a dynamic where one person is... Uh, uh, let's say, uh, in the limelight, and one person is like, one is a Jesus and one is a Mary, or something like that. Okay, we don't want to repeat those stories, really, but... <laughs> but something like that. One's a feminine and one's more masculine. One's more on the... Uh, bat one's like a producer and one's like a... What is that? Um, on the forefront, right? All right. But energetically, both are putting in the work for the success. Okay, so perhaps um, take a look at that and see if you can bring your... Okay, so you can bring yourself both in... Okay, so it's something like this. Okay, so they're showing me a movie, right? Where there was a, a producer or director or something. And he did a cameo in the movie. And that was so much fun. So it's something like that. Okay, so bringing the background person in the in the front too. Okay, and I feel like somehow that's going to uh, feel better for the person, especially if they're a man I'm getting. Okay, because for some reason, there and in the past, there's a history of where <clears throat> men uh, felt like... Uh, it's something that has to do with the ego and men. It's like um, they feel, sometimes they feel less worthy or something like that. Okay, if they're not bringing home the bacon uh, greater than their partner or something like that. That's past. Okay, we don't have to carry that into the future. Okay, but... And I feel like that's kind of how we all got into this situation with this kind of um, back and forth, right? Okay, so I think women kind of took a step back to kind of um, be the cheerleader for men, right? But then it got a little bit uh, off kilter there. So it, like then there was a movement for women to bring that back. So it's like the ebb and flow, right? Okay. That's interesting. Okay. All right. So, all right, now here we go. So I feel like it's like equal footing somehow bring in that, um, if you can. Demeter, harvest, yeah, and I feel like that will bring in uh, great success in the future with your partner. Okay, so it's like working together and being each other's cheerleader, right? And, um, okay, so then remember if it's a water sign or someone who is kind of a, has a watery nature due to the placements, um, then uh, they may have a language where they're not uh, showing that, but they are feeling that. So you want to keep that in mind, right? And not try to get a reaction because you don't know. Okay, so then here's Destiny. Destiny. 
this is remembering that we're all connected, right? Okay, so there's a message here too. And I think I already touched this, but um, okay, it's coming up again. Okay, so it's like wanting to know the future self, right? Okay, so how do you do that? Okay, you get quiet and you align with all your energy. <clears throat> and you can even say, I'm aligned with my six dimensional self or all my multi dimensions. Okay, and then get quiet and listen. Okay, but sometimes that's part of the fun of being here, right? Are the surprises, right? Because the angels know everything, right? And you can tap into that, but part of the fun is the journey, right? So you got to kind of uh, not know some things, I feel like. <laughs> it's like seeing the trailer for the whole movie, right? <laughs> Okay, and uh, so I've done that, right? But then as we're moving along, you can still add in, um, <laughs> you still add, right? You can add, okay. Okay, so here's the wisdom, tapping into that wisdom. Okay, and I feel like that will help you feel more at ease is, is that silence and connecting to that subtle energy within, which is your multi-dimensional self. And then, ta-da, this is the next card, Celine Intuition, right? Okay, so you have wisdom and intuition. And as you do that, you'll feel more comfortable with your destiny, the outcome, right? Being okay and knowing that the spirit is assisting you, okay? And Bellafron, humility. Okay, so um, I feel like that's your partner. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm getting here is, yeah, this, I feel like this is your partner. Okay, so. I feel like on both sides, there was this kind of like a self-esteem thing going on here, right? So, um, I feel like for some, some of you, that was that. So, it's like mirroring that. Okay, and I feel like this person has immense love for you. Okay, but the thing is... <clears throat> This person is probably a water sign or uh, I'm feeling like a, holds a lot of water. So it's like um, they hold stuff in and they're, they get in protective mode. If you were trying to peck at him like a hen, they're showing me a bunch of hens. Okay, so if you're trying to peck at him, if you're trying to peck at him or her, it could be a her, right? for a reaction or something, right? It's like, say something, right? Like, there's a song that says that. Say something, right? Say something. Okay. But this person is got in protective mode. So if you got seven of wands showing up in your readings, that was protective mode. Okay. So that was, that person got in protective mode. Okay. Because it's like, you can't be coaxed or cajoled. Cogeled, cogeled, <laughs> something like that. Okay, all right, so it's, it, it's, okay, so. Mm. Okay, so some of you were multi-lovers. Okay, so what is that? Okay, so, um, okay, so for example, uh, perhaps you chose to be with somebody that was already in a relationship, right? Okay. Hold on. Okay, so then it was like you wanted that person, you wanted to prove to yourself that that person loved you, <clears throat> right? 
and you wanted to prove that what that person was saying to you was the truth, right? When they would say they love you. Okay, so with that I want to say the only guarantees we ever have, right, in love is the love that you offer. So as you, uh, as you focus on that, the love that you're giving, I feel like that will be, that would speak for itself. Okay. So, and I feel like you holding that energy, you holding that energy would... Uh, reign supreme. That's what I feel like. Okay. So, if that was the case for some of you, uh, then just not look for the proof. Don't waste energy trying to look for evidence. It's like you either know it or you don't, right? And if you don't, then keep offering your love. And if you feel uncomfortable with that within your own vibration, then reconsider and perhaps uh, move in another direction, right? Maybe focus on work or focus on uh, charity, right? Where things, or art or music, focus on things that will bring you joy, right? And in doing so, that raises your vibration, and then that will yield you the highest outcome, Sagittarius. Okay. So sometimes, even though... When things don't work out, that is our guidance to go in another direction. And oftentimes, because of the comfort, we don't make the moves, right? Okay, so. So, and that would take not any guidance from the outside world. That would take really connecting with your own energy and understanding your what you want, okay, and moving in that way. So perhaps that was a point where you felt like, uh, for some of you, uh, that was like trying to battle it out, right? Okay. But here is messages. So, okay. So that's Mercury, right? Okay. So Mercury here, Virgo, and Gemini. And we're also in Gemini moon, which is interesting because I had an interesting dream. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I had an interesting traveling dream. <laughs> Gemini moon. <laughs> okay. So. All right, well, um, okay, so this is not about me, so here. Okay, so messages. Okay, so I feel like there is promise here of love, right? And here's, it's like ebb and flow, so uh, the electric waters here. So I feel like uh, there will be peace. Um, okay, here's a phrase. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Okay, so I feel like the suggestion here with this Mercury card is to give a loving offer, gesture. Okay, this is not uh, any kind of sexual thing. This is from the heart love, right? Okay, so uh, offering a loving gesture. Okay, and then not expecting anything in return. Okay. All right. So let me dig into this message here. Okay. 
So I feel like what this person is uh, hoping for is your devotion, your deep compassion and love. And perhaps for some of you that patience. Okay. So someone just said, I, I, it's like I waited years. Okay. There's an understanding of that, right? Yeah. In the non-physical. So, um, so when you get phrases like that, just reach for that hopeful place, right? And then move in another direction in your mind. Okay. Let's see where we are on the videos. Okay, let's get an oracle card. Fall into my arms. Okay. Surrender. Holding the opposites. Extreme of life. Ooh, okay. All right. There's something. Hold on a second. Duh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So there's a message there too. And I, I totally forgot. Okay, so if you're low vibrating by thinking all these negative thoughts, you could have swung into that Gemini energy. Okay, your polar opposite energy. All right, we're in Gemini moon, so it's all working itself out. Okay, so that's probably uh, why I had those funky dreams. <laughs> anyway, but I'll share part of it. Part of it was de-stressing, and that was very important uh, part of the process, is making that time to de-stress from work and uh and then raising your vibration also that way learning how to do that every day right all right so surrendering to the spirit within and then finding the positive aspects of gemini and moving that way okay align that with your energy and i feel you'll have great success and um and then in that way you won't reach for that extreme fire Okay, so I feel like that's a message. So look for the positive aspects of Gemini. Incorporate that into your love life, your family life, and work life. And I feel like that will be, you will have the greatest success. And I leave that with you, Sagittarius. And it's also your partner asking, fall into my arms. Thank you.